Tech is quitting because she can't take it anymore. Dr. Judith Curry doesn't deny the climate is changing, but she says universities have become so politicized on the topic, she can no longer handle what she calls the craziness of it all. Dr. Curry joins us now. Professor Curry, thanks for coming on tonight. Um, Talk to so, it's a pleasure. Well, thank you. It is for me. So you have written that part of the problem with climate science, not just at your school but at others, is that research money only goes to researchers pursuing certain lines of inquiry and that they're all the same and that that prevents good science from ha happening. Am I mischaracterizing you? Um, not really, but it, what you're seeing is there's this dominant theme of human cause climate change, which is where all of the research and the focus is being directed, and there's far too little um, funding and effort go going into understanding natural climate variability. That's my concern. Right. So is that, for those of us who are not experts, is that the key debate, not whether temperatures are changing, because of course they always have, but over what's causing that change? And is there a debate on it, that? Exactly. In your no world? one debate. It's clearly warming, and it's been warming right. for overall for several hundred years. The key question is how much of the recent warming, say for the last 50 years, has been caused by humans? Right. And my interpretation of the evidence is that. We really can't tell, and I don't see a clear signal that it's being caused by humans predominantly. Hmm. So for your position, and I think I'm just quoting you what you said, we really can't tell. You're not sticking out a hard position either way, but you're sort of open-minded, it sounds like. Do you believe you were penalized for that view? Oh, I've, I've been vilified um, by some of my colleagues who are activists and don't like anybody challenging you know the their big story so i mean i walk around with knives sticking out of my back yeah. and you know in the university environment i just felt like i was beating my head against the wall and not being effective what's so curious i mean i live in a similar world but it's a political world where people disagree and they have strong beliefs and ideologies and they attack each other of them but that's sort of the opposite of what i understood science to be where you were led by inquiry and evidence to conclusions right Oh, exactly. Universities should be places of unfettered research, freedom of investigation, honest and open debate, diverse perspectives, etc. And in certain fields, you know, that are politically relevant, you're definitely not seeing that. But I mean, this is one that has relevance for all of us, even though those of us who aren't in college or don't have kids in college. I mean. The research you're doing and that your colleagues, the ones you described as activists, are doing will inform public policy in a way that affects every person on the planet. So the stakes are really high, no? The stakes are very high. Um, personally, I think I can have more of an impact outside of the university in um, the private sector, sort of um, free market, academic freedom. Huh, academic. So uh, let me ask you this. When you hear people who ask, the question that you just asked, to what extent is climate change being driven by natural factors that have always existed and to what extent by human activity? People who ask that question are derided as climate deniers. What's your response to that? Well, my response is we really don't know. It's certainly humans are contributing something. Um, we don't know how much. From the evidence that I've seen, I don't think it's the dominant cause. You know, Wait, but I think Dr. It's Curry, mostly... you may have, you may have, you may not, you're not listening to TV because 98% of scientists globally believe one thing. So you must be in the 2%, right? Uh, <laughs> ironically, the way those the question is framed about the consensus that yes, it's warming, yes, humans contribute to it. I mean, everybody agrees with that, and I'm in the 98%. It's yes. when you get down to the details that there is genuine disagreement that is really glossed over in the media. Interesting. We need to do a multi-part series on this show on this question. Just what do we know and what don't we know? As honestly as we can. And I hope you'll come back for that. Dr. Curry, thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you.